Proteas kick off the South Africa versus England doubleheader. The box will face the Roses in the Rugby World Cup semi-final. But first, Temba Bavuma and co play England at the Cricket World Cup this morning. South Africa are looking to get back to winning ways in India after falling short against the Netherlands in their third match. For more on this, we're joined in studio by former cricketer Hugh Page. And on Zoom, we have Jeffrey Toyana, Eastern's head coach. Okay, a very good morning to you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to start with you, Hugh. So um, what have you thought of the Proteus performances so far, particularly um, focusing on the loss to Netherlands? Um, I think the guys have done really well. I, I th obviously, the last game was a disappointment because it's a game you expected to win, and we lost, and we lost quite badly. Uh, going into this tournament, my concern has always been the bowling. I, I think we've got a very strong batting lineup, um, and our bowling lineup is strong anyway, but they, for some reason, in the last couple of months, haven't been where they should be, particularly if you want to win this World Cup. Jeff, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to hear from, from you. Do you agree with Hugh with regard to the bowling being a little bit of an issue? What did you make of that loss? Jeff, if you can, if you can please just unmute yourself. You're muted. Just unmute yourself, please. You're still muted. We could hear you earlier when we were testing, but now I can't hear you. Are oh, you, are you there? Oh, there, oh, there you are. <laughs> no problem. You can carry on. Yes, good morning and good morning to the viewers. Um, yes, I do agree with Peggy. Uh, I, think, I think the death polling, you know, like is an issue. Like it has been an issue. And the balance of the team as well. I think uh, with uh, like Marco Janssen coming at seven, I think it's a great balance. I think for Indian conditions as well, I think the decision has to be made on whether you play, you know, like an extra spinner in Shemzi or you play, you know, like an extra seamer. So, yes, I do agree uh, with, uh, like with Peiji, like that both, uh, like that death bowling was not great. And it's something that we need to like improve on today. I mean, it's a big game for us. and We need to make sure that um, uh, like we win the game. I want to double down on what Jeff just said, Hugh. With regard to conditions, Jeff just mentioned the conditions. How much of a role would the conditions in, England, in India play with regard to getting those wins? Well, I mean, playing in India is very different to playing at home. Um, the conditions definitely suit batting or batsmen. So you know, when you're bowling, the margin for error is very, very small. And uh, it's not easy. Let's not get it uh, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Let's not beat about the bush. It's, it's really difficult. And uh, we've seen it in the IPL. You know, bowlers yeah. uh, tend to get smacked around a bit and so on. But, you know, it is still important to hit the, the right areas, as expression the guys use these days. But you've got to bowl good lines and you've got, got to bowl the right lengths. Otherwise, you travel. That's yeah, as simple yeah. as what it is. Yeah, yeah those conditions really <clears throat> do make a huge difference. Uh, Jeff, I want to still stay on the Netherlands defeat just for a little bit more. Could it be, and this is just a question that I'm throwing to you, could it be that the Proteas were a little bit, they let their guard down a little bit, they, they lost complacency, uh, they became complacent a little bit after, you know, those two wins at the beginning of the tournament. Would you say that possibly they may have let their guard down or underestimated Netherlands? Uh, I don't believe so. I mean, like, Netherlands have beaten us before, you know, like in the T20 World Cup. And uh, talking to Temba, I think about four days ago as well, he told me that, like, the guys were keen, you know, on the game. And to be honest, I really think, you know, like, the Dutch bowled nicely to us. Like, their bowling plans were good. I mean, like, we saw the paper there, you know, like the captain, like, reading the paper, you know, like, almost every over. So, so like, their plans were spot on. And, like, they are coached as well by a South African, you know, guy in, like, Ryan Cook. So, like, he knows our players very well. So I really, really think like the Apollos were, uh, you know, uh, uh, like planned well against us. And yes, we just didn't execute. And then moving forward, I think we just need to just make sure that we have a good start with the bat and the Indian conditions as well. I mean, like you need to bat first on those wickets and make sure that you get yourself to 320, 340, you know, and you're going to be competitive in those conditions. He was sometimes losses like this, you know, are just a reminder, as I said earlier, not to be complacent. Could a loss like this also be a wake-up call for the Proteas? Don't take things so easy. Yeah, uh, Nandi, in these kind of competitions, in those conditions, mm. uh, there always are a couple of upsets. There are very few teams that will go through with uh, unscathed. We've seen Australia, who are a very good side. We've seen them have two big hiccups. We've seen England have a, a, a hiccup. Mm. And suddenly, you know, people realise that uh, this is the World mm. Cup 
and there are not just four teams competing for, for, for the cup. You know, there's, there are a number of teams that are capable of winning it. And I think that's what makes it exciting. Yeah. 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 Let's look at this morning's match. Um, we're playing England. England have actually only won one match as defending champions. That's something to read into. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that's the importance of this game. You, you know, we got the rugby a little bit later mm. against England. I don't think there are too many times in, in world sport that you'll have a World Cup on, uh, on in cricket and in rugby, and you've got two teams playing the, the same uh, one another in both, in both codes, which is exciting. Mm. But, yeah, I mean, it's an important game for us. England will be wanting to win this because they have started to fall behind. And it's, it's, a, it's a crunch game for us, yeah. Um, Jeff, I want to hear your thoughts on this one. England haven't had the greatest of starts. Is this a good thing for us? Is this something that we should read into? Yeah, I think it's a big game for us as well in the sense that, I mean, you've got England now, like Ben Stokes is back. So he brings, he brings, you know, like a lot in any team that he plays for. But I believe that um, with Australia, uh, Pakistan, you know, England and us, you know, like those four are the, you know, other two teams like that are going to go through because India and New Zealand, I mean, you know, like have started well. So we win today. I mean, we pull away from those three big countries as well. And it's a big game for us. I mean, we just have to make sure that we win because if we don't, then there's four teams like that are vying for two spots. Uh, to be honest, yes, it's early days now, but it's a big game for us. I think game six, game seven, or, or like this tournament will take shape. And we just have to make sure that we are, you know, like on the right side of that because we still have to play India and New Zealand as well. So, so, so like tough one for us, but yeah, but, but I think for England with uh, like Ben Stokes, um, uh, like back, you know, like they'll uh, come in with uh, like different attitudes and like they're going to come hard at us. Jeff, like you, like you, you've played cricket before, and I'm curious to know, um, just from your experience, mentally, how strong do you need to be to bounce back from a loss, um, especially going into a match against the likes of England, who are defending champions? How important is that mental strength, and what is going through a player's mind? Yeah, for me, I think it's a tough one. I mean, because also, you know, England have lost to, like, Afghanistan. And we've lost like to the Dutch. So it's two teams, I mean, like who lost against the Minos, um, if I may put it like that. But, um, you know, it's just important just to go there and like clear your minds or uh, like have a good start. I think the first 10 overs or uh, like with bat or with ball, you know, like, like are going to be important. And I think it's important that uh, uh, like that we throw in like that first punch and try put England under pressure, you know, like early doors. Uh, Hugh, I'm going to bring that same question yeah. to you in terms of just, just the mental strength. And in terms of, you know, rallying the players, getting them to rally and to go into this match with confidence, what role does the captain, Temba Bavuma, also have in, term of, in terms of just lifting their spirits? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, the captain plays a big role in, mm. this, in this competition. It's not just three or four games. It's uh, over a long period. So, you know, the captain's got to be able to make the right calls on the, on the, on the, on the field. And he's also got to manage his players properly, you know, um, it's very seldom that uh, you'll have a player play 10 games and play all 10 really well. He's going to have the odd hiccup along the way. But as, as uh, Jeff, Lee, Jeff quite rightly mentions, you know, the first 10 overs where you're batting or bowling mm. sets up the game. And uh, it's very important that you, you make sure that you do well within those uh, first 10 overs. And, you know, we, we mentioned the bowling, just as Temba Bavuma also mentioned the bowling has been a little bit of an issue. Maybe that's why, you know, the loss to Netherlands came around. But if you were just to assess uh, the protest performances, what do they need to do today if they want to beat England? Well, I think, you know, you can't back on, on, on the toss. Mm. But if you win the, the toss, previously we have batted really well uh, batting first. We've set massive totals and, uh, you know, then it becomes difficult for the side chasing to, to get to those runs. And I would like to think if we win the toss, we bat first, put a big score on the board, and hopefully our bowlers bowl well. What, what does surprise me is, you know, if you think about our bowling, I mean, there's a lot of experience and there's some really good players. Mm. We, we've got one of the best players in the world, you know, opening the bowling. You've got Ngidi, who's you know, up there with uh, you know, the, the best one-day bowlers. You know, so those kind of guys have got to stand up in these big games and be counted. Jeff, I see you nodding in agreement. Yes, yes, I, I do agree with KG. I think our bowling attack, I mean, uh, with KG, you know, up front, um, um, he sets the tone for us. And for me, I'll, I'll still uh, would love to see, you know, like Shamsi come in. 
like for one of the simmers as well to just to give us like that balance uh because like spain in 50 over cricket uh, like plays a massive role and i think shamesy as well has done well you know like in the past against uh the teams like england so like if there's gonna be a change in today's um um team i see you know like a shamesy coming in for kutia we're gonna let's talk a little bit about rob walter hugh he yeah. came in um at the beginning of the year have you been seeing any changes to the squad? Um, what has he implemented? Do you think that he's been the right man to come in and coach the squad? Well, yeah. I mean, it's always difficult when a mm. guy comes in and he's only got sort of eight months to prepare a side for a major competition like the World Cup. But certainly he's come in, he's been working abroad. He's, he was living in New Zealand, coaching a New Zealand side. And he definitely has brought in a different uh, dynamic to the team. But, I, I mean... Jeff and I seem like we we concurring with one another, but I like yeah. what Jeff says. I would rather play an extra spinner than the extra seamer, and I'd, I'd go with what, what uh, Jeff is saying. I'd play Shamsi ahead of uh, Kutsia. Uh, those conditions definitely suit spinners. Um, England aren't really a fay with playing spin in the subcontinent. Uh, they do play on the subcontinent, but they, like us, play in our sort of conditions, so they would prefer to play seamers. And I always think that uh, you, you then say, well, what are they wanting to play against and what are they least wanting to play against? And I think they would prefer to play uh, the seeming attack rather than a spinning attack. And Jeff's 100% correct. Uh, you know, so we're on the same page there, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cheers, cheers, Pidgey. You've been on the same page all morning. Jeff, as a coach, how difficult is it to try and put together a good squad with, you know, limited time? As you said, Rob Walter didn't have as much time. Eight demands to prepare for a World Cup is a bit tricky. Yeah, like Rob, Rob is a former Titans coach. I mean, he understands, you know, like South African cricket as well. And then when he came in, I mean, he, he like brought up, you know, like on all the coaches, you know, all the coaches of the provincial team, I mean, we, we like sat down in a coaches conference and he like aligned, you know, like the plans, you know, like for us as coaches and and what he's looking for. I mean, for me, like, a, uh, like a, that's a breath of fresh air when like the national, you know, coach, I mean, like goes down and and uh, like uh, talks to the other coaches as well, like so that we're all on the, um, on the same page. But the biggest thing that he's pushed as well is that positive mindset you know like like i expect that to come through as well where like you know like when in doubt i mean like i take uh, 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 like that positive option I'm like that's what we want to see like the public want to see guys you know like going out there as well and uh, you know like it's uh, um like pushing their talents forward and uh, like uh, 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 like that's something like that we're going to see as well you know like as we move forward in this world cup because the guys are quite settled like the top six is settled um and it's just for the guys just to come through and 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 then like just perform you know like for the country jeff new zealand india and south africa top three teams on the rankings it might be a little bit too soon for me to be asking you this but is the winner of the world cup likely to come from those three <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yes I, I think india you know like are looking good and they're like New Zealand, I mean, uh, like they've got the bits and pieces, you know, like, like of, of uh, like cricketers who like understand their job and uh, like they're always competitive as well in ICC tournaments. And uh, like the Australian team as well, I mean, like they started badly, uh, like with win, uh, like losing two and uh, like they've won their last two now. So, so it is shaping up to be a very, very good World Cup and we just have to make sure that we finish in that top four. And I think, like I said earlier on, I mean, like this tournament will take shape, you know, like game seven. So like we need to be, you know, like within like that top four, at least by game seven yeah. and just make sure that, uh, you know, we bring it home. I mean, uh, uh, until we support the guys, uh, until we are all behind them as well. Hugh, um, we're talking about, you know, getting into that last fourth semifinals, which is there's still matches to be played, but yes. is this a must win for South Africa? Well, it's not the end of the world if we don't win it, but uh, certainly you would like to win it because you don't want to be pressure in, in, under pressure at the end of the, yeah. uh, the tournament, which is yeah, what happens. I think there are 10 games, and we've only this will be our, our fourth game. Yeah. So there's quite a long way to go. So the, you could have you know, another loss or two uh, and still be in that final four, but you don't want to be under pressure going into it at the end. Yeah. We still need to play New Zealand, Australia, and Pakistan. That's coming up a bit later on. Um, as players, should they or do they 
or really start looking ahead to those matches? Or is this a situation of let's take it one match at a time? Yeah, Nandi, you, you should have been a, sp a sports coach yourself. <laughs> you, you know all the, you know, all the, all the answers. But certainly, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I think let's take it one game at a time. If you get too far ahead of yourself, you tend to lose focus on the game that you, 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 you're up against. So, yeah, I mean, we've got to realise that there's still some good sides to play uh, yeah, going, for going forward. But, you know, we, we need to focus on, on, on this particular game and make yeah. sure that we, we do the right thing. They have got ben, uh, ben Stokes playing. I think Ben Stokes is probably one of the best players in the world. Mm. He hasn't played for a while, so yeah. let's hope uh, for our sake he, he doesn't perform like he's capable. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, would you give the same advice in terms of just uh, not going too far and looking at the, the next matches? Yeah, I mean, same advice. Like, uh, like I take it one game at a time. And big focus on the now. I mean, you can't focus on games that are coming up because you've got games now. So just play your game and just make sure, you know, you perform in your game. Uh, uh, like, don't look too far ahead. Um, yes, uh, like, there's nine games, you know, like in the World Cup. We've played uh, three, so, like, we've got six more. And I do believe that if you win at least six of the games, I mean, I think you're going to be, you know, like in the semifinals. And I think it's important that uh, we pick at the right time as well and just make sure that uh, like when the big ones come, I mean, uh, uh, like we are ready. But the semifinal, you know, like is a must for us. And we've got the squad to do that. And we believe in the boys. I mean, you know, let's just hope that like, they'll take us through this time. There's another big match coming up. New Zealand and India both haven't lost. They're number one and number two. Yeah. How do you see that one panning out? And is it going to be, is it going to somehow also affect what could possibly happen to the Proteas going forward? Well, I mean, obviously there's going to be a loser and, and, <laughs> yes. and you don't want that. Uh, you don't want to be th that particular team. But New Zealand, for some reason, you know, they've always almost punched above their weight. Mm. You know, they, they always do well in these kind of competitions. They've got a nice side, but not a brilliant side. Mm. Um, but, geez, they, they perform and they, 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 they seem to win those close encounters. And, and that's the difference between them playing in the semi and, and not. And... Yeah, they are playing India, and you've got to say India would be the favourites by yeah. quite some long way. Um, I'm a big Indian fan. Yeah. I think the Indians have a hell of a side. And, mm. you know, the IPL is probably the best breeding ground, breeding ground for young cricketers. So they've got so much to choose from. But as I say, you know, New Zealand have a lot less cricketers to choose from, but they, they compete like, uh, like Trojans. And, and if you think about it, their batting lineup has been fantastic. Uh, you know, they, they put the runs on the board and the bowling guys are, are very competitive. Yeah. yeah. Jeff, how do you see that one go in New Zealand and India? Uh, yes, any team, I mean, with uh, like Virat Kohli, you know, like in the form that he's in at the moment, is going to be a dangerous team. I mean, like they're playing in their own or like own conditions as well. And uh, like Virat Kohli, I mean, to just make sure that like the Kiwis, you know, like bowl first because uh, Virat Kohli can chase anything, you know, like on his own. I mean, he's a superb cr uh, like cricketer. And also, as PG has said as well, like I'm a big fan of uh, like Indian cricket, like uh, the brand of cricket like that they play. You know, it will be tough, you know, like for the Kiwis. Uh, I see, you know, like India doing well, you know, like in this World Cup, but purely because uh, like they're playing at home and they've got Virat Kohli as well, who's, you know, like a magician. All right, I'm going to leave things there for the moment. But wait, before I let you go, we have run out of time. But I'm going to put you both on the spot. I'm going to start with you, Hugh. Give me predictions for both South Africa Springboks versus England, as well as the Proteas versus England. Give me some predictions. OK, well, I, I would say uh, yeah, uh, in, the, in, the, in the cricket, I would like to think we, we mm -hmm. perform. I mean, this is with my heart. Yes, uh, there's a little say, bit of bias. There. Yeah, a little bit of biasness. <laughs> uh, we come through. Um, England have got ahead of themselves. So, you know, they, they're already making statements mm. that yeah, they, they'll be in the, in the semi-final. Yeah. And they, I always get nervous when, when teams do that. And um, as a result, I, I, I back up uh, the Proteas mm -hmm. in, in the cricket. And from a rugby point of view, I'm nervous about the crowds. So there's such expectation on these are. poor guys. <laughs> I think, you know, if you look at it from a rugby point of view, we've got to be the favourites. Yeah. But I'm nervous because of all the statements that, that have been made. And when you play sport and Jeff... He's played and he's coached. He knows when you start making statements, so Jeff, they normally come back to bite you. So I hope in our case it's not, but I'm back in the spring box full time. We're so nervous. Can you just imagine how the team um, in France is feeling? Jeff, give me your predictions. 
Um, yeah, the prediction for me, um, like the Proteas will win a close game against England today. You're very confident um, on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite confident. Uh. I think we'll get, get over the line in that one, you know, at least by, you know, for five wickets or something like mm. that. And then when it comes to the pocket, or like the pocket by two tries. Okay, well, we're going to so see South how Africa, that... South Africa. South Africa. Both of you decided that South Africa will win, and I think you are both absolutely right. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. I've really appreciated it Andy. this Saturday morning. That was former cricketer Hugh Page and Easton's head coach, Jeffrey Tayana, joining us to chat about the Proteus, the Cricket World Cup, and just a little bit of rugby. I'm going to leave things there for the moment. Masiko and Jenna will have your headlines at the top of the hour. Stay tuned to ENCA.